Thanks for joining us here on the News at 5. I'm Nia Wong. And I'm David Rose. Surveillance video obtained by Fox 13 News sheds new light on the terrifying shooting that took place right outside of Seattle daycare. Fox 13's Lauren Donovan continues to follow this developing story out of the Central District. Lauren, police tell you they're looking at this video as evidence. Traffic cameras provide a play-by-play -play of the criminal activity, and you get a clear view of the suspect's car. You can see 24 hours later, the daycare center here in the Central District is still boarded up. Watch as a gunman inside the suburban opens fire. Bullets fly. The man on the sidewalk hits the ground. In the line of fire, a daycare. Panicked children forced to duck and cover. I'm shook. I'm rattled. Like, this is, it's terrifying. It's little kids. Tuesday, community leaders from across King County gathered in Skyway. The executive, the sheriff, representatives from Harborview, and public health. I was literally on a flight coming in last night and got the news about the shooting that happened over in the Central District. First thing I got when I heard about bullets flying over children's heads really made me mad. They say what happened Monday underscores the importance of their new commitment. I am announcing the launch of the Regional Office of Gun Violence Prevention. Executive Constantine says the purpose of this new office is to better collaborate with community organizations. Mourning mothers acutely impacted by the recent rash of gun violence will have a seat at the table. My son was murdered on Mother's Day of 2020 in front of my home in Rainier Beach. His case is still unsolved. And with that collaboration comes the promise of 13.5 million taxpayer dollars. That'll bankroll staff who, in the aftermath of a shooting, will go into the hospital and work directly with victims and their families. This surgeon from Harborview says work like that is desperately needed. Even if you do all of the things to take care of them and to address their injuries and to get them to hospital discharge, they are going to struggle. Data from King County shows the numbers are up across the board. Shots fired incidents increased 17%. The number of shooting victims jumped 55%. Most shockingly, the number of fatal shooting victims has skyrocketed, up 76%. The maddening truth of all of this, of course, is that we are fighting not an inevitable disaster, but a preventable disaster. The 47-year-old who was shot here multiple times was taken to Harborview Medical Center. I've reached out to the hospital for an update on his condition. Last we checked, his injuries were serious. And the suspects in this case, they have yet to be identified despite that new video circulating. We're reporting in the Central District. Lauren Donovan, Fox 13 News.